Number three, insha'Allah. From here, we are going to head into the cemetery, which is Nahumish. It's about 20, 15 to 20 minutes drive. And there's a great reward that the Prophet sallallahu mentioned that whoever performs the janazah prayer, when you attend the prayer, until the prayer is finished, your reward is like Firaq. Another narration, you performed the janazah and the prayer, and then you went to attend the burial, you have Firaqani, which is two Firaq, which is two mountains, as the Messenger said, which is equal with the mountains of Uhud as reward. So, and uh, it's a reward to, you know, to trying to um, gain like, 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 you know, a Christian like this. Um, do you have anything you want to say? Now, what do you need to know when it comes to Janazah prayer? It's a four takbir. The four takbir. The first one, you recite Fatiha. Fatiha as when you pray, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Rahman, Rahim, to the end. And the second takbir, Salatul Ibrahimiyya, which is the same dua you say in the last shepherd. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. The third one, it is to make dua for a disease and make dua for those who precede him, those who that die before him, and the Muslims. Okay? But make dua, make dua for him because Allahumma ghafir lahu wa rahamhu. If he will rise, wa aafihi wa afa anhu, wa akrim muzlahu, wa wasi anhu khalabu. Allah have mercy on you. You know, say a good dua, make dua for him. And then the fourth one, we will do the Tasneem, insha'Allah. It's very important to me, insha'Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar
to go. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Well, brothers, if you can fish in just two, three minutes, you can have a seat and fish in for two, three minutes, inshaAllah. So, if you don't know the address, please, anyone who knows the address, you can uh, give it to anyone who wants to go, inshaAllah. Please, we know that uh, very expensive. There's a Janaza box there, whatever you drop there, inshaAllah, we'll give it to the family to help themselves. And also we want to thank uh, ICOP, Islamic Center of Fiji Sun, to donate the, the piece of land or donate the laqab or the grave to the families. Naam. So may Allah reward them. And uh, the family, whatever you, you want to give to the donation, you can put it in the box, inshallah, we will handle to them. My message here today is special to the youth. I have a special message to you. This brother that passed away used to be a friend. He used to be someone that you hang, you know him, you guys know him. That's why we have more youth here than old age because he's your friend. He's your friend that you guys used to hang around with. You used to perhaps travel with, spend the night with. Today is here. Laying down, you can see, and there's nothing that, you know, will benefit him except what he did for himself. That is the only thing that will benefit him, only his good deeds. So here my message to you, don't wait until this day. Try to change your life from now. Don't get, tempted, uh, temp don't get tempted by this environment. No matter how long it takes, you respond to your Lord. No matter how long it takes, you're going to respond to your Lord. And the only thing that will benefit you in your grave is what you did. That is the only thing that will benefit you. Not your wealth, not your famousness, not how much people love you, it is only the righteous deeds that what is going to be benefit you. So change your life from today. This should be a lesson admonition for everyone that is here. Someone that you guys know, someone that you used to, you know, hang around with, someone that you used to um, spend time with, going to occasion. You guys know him better. Do not wait your last day or do not wait the only day we mention that we pray for this individual. It is the day we say we pray on this person, but yourself you never pray. Now, what I'm trying to say, it should not be that we pray on you, but you never pray yourself. The youth, let's change our life. Let's remember we're going to meet our Lord. Let's remember we're going to die. And if the moment comes, there's no second we wait. Naam. The youth I'm talking to, let's change our life. This life we are living, it's delusion. It's fooling us, it's not a reality. Let's change our life, the youth. The life, the life we live in outside, it is just, it's just deceiving us. It's all nonsense. Let's change our life, the youth. Let's return back to Allah. Let's return back to the masjid. Let's be active in the community and help the, the activities that are taking place in the community. We are very worried and concerned for our children because of we lose hope in the youth. The way the youth, especially people who came here 20 years ago, the way the kids are behaving today is not something that we, we want to see. You guys can help us to raise our kids. Let's change our life, the youth. Let's come back to the masjid. Let's return back to Allah. Let's treat our parents. 
how many youth that are abandoned even their parents in this country, that be a reason to bring you in this country, or be a reason to brought you into this world here. How many youth are considered their parents to be their number one enemy? We have it a lot. How many of our youth that are drinking alcohol from the sister's side and the brother's side, from our own kids here? How many from our youth that are using all these drugs and all these stuffs? The youth, change your life. Change your life and help us to fix this community. We have over 200 kids that are attending classes here and on other places. And these are kids, they are looking at you. The way you dress, the way you talk, and the way you live. And you're living with them in the same home. And they see you, they're going to be the same like you. Have sympathy and have mercy for these little kids. My message is for the youth, we have to change. The life we live in, we just, we just, you know, we're just wasting our time. Let's return back to Allah. This is our brother Sharif. May Allah have mercy on him and grant him that not to forget. Whatever is going to benefit him is whatever he did for himself. Besides that, nothing else will benefit him. And he's going to be in his grave. And each one of us will be there. Leave that which you used to do when you were young. Remember your sin. And cry about your sin so you're the one that committed a sin. The angels, the two angels, they do not forget what they record. But they confirm it. And you're still playing and you're still fooling yourself. Let's return. Your soul that you have with you. It is something they give you to hold. A day that we took it away without even asking of permission. Naam. And brothers and sisters, the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned from the signs of the hour, there will be a lot of sudden death. Naam. It used to be a time ago, but now it's more spread. It's more spread around. You wake up, you receive a message. Oh, this brother passed away. I was with him. A brother prayed with us a fajr prayer. Wallahi. When I make the announcement here, he said yesterday he waved me at my apartment. When I was going to work, he was waving at me. Nothing wrong with him. He went to bed. He didn't wake up again. That was the biggest sleep for him. Naam. How many people will all of a sudden they are attacked by a stroke? Or they have a heart attack? It's a lot. There is a sudden death. It's not guaranteed any one of us will leave. So return back to Allah and repent from today and change your life. Change your life. Let's return back to Allah. He is our creator. He created for one reason, which is to worship him. And if we do not worship him, when we die upon disobedience, when we bet him, there's no excuse for us. He sent to us messages. He sent to us books. He sent to us preachers. To preach us, and we still refuse. Let's return back to Allah Azza wa Jalla. Let's return to our Lord. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say, remember death all the time. Because if you do remember death the whole time, you will always be repent. You will always return to your Lord. You will always do good things. But if you, if you forget about death, you will be very heedless, very negligent. You will, you, don't, you will not even care. An admonition, a preach will not enter in your head. You will not care about your parents. Because if you remember, if you believe the oneness of Allah Azza wa Jalla, you believe in a hereafter, you believe in akhirah, you believe that there's a hell, you believe that there's a paradise, you believe that you will die, you will believe that I will put you in your grave. Wallahi, you remember all of this all the time, you will act right. But if you don't believe in any of this, you will be forgetful. You will not care. You will drink alcohol. You will go to drug. You will think, you use a drug. You will go to the club. You will insult your parents. You know you will not. You will be a you will be a problem for the community because you don't care because you don't believe in any of this. And I believe as a Muslim we believe in all of this. So let's return back to our religion. Let, let's return back to our culture. Elders that are here, my message to you: We are leaving our condition. It's very sad and very dangerous. 
this is a non-Muslim country. We came here to make a living. That doesn't mean that we should turn our, our, our life and our culture, or our religion. Let's work together. Let's support the Messiah. At least if you cannot be part of the board member or you cannot be part of those who clean the masjid, take your money, take $100, $200, you pay in your bills, your utilities. Take that money and say, here, the masjid, every month, support yourself. Help people so the masjid can hire more qualified people to educate the youth so we can active, active, active pro, pro, uh, uh, programs in the masjid so we can, uh, we can um, um, educate the, the community. We have a lot of work to do. We have to wake up. We are sleeping. Wallahi, we are sleeping. We have to wake up. It's easy. We can spend $10,000 and buy something. It's easy. For supporting the masjid, we are stingy. And if anything happens, we call upon the imam. Someone passed up, we will call upon the imam. We need the masjid. Someone, there's a naming ceremony, we call upon the imam. Any religious the imam will support the masjid, $20, $5. People still complaining. They're using our money to pay their rent and buy a car and all that. It's all false. Let's fear Allah and stop sleeping and wake up. And let's stand for our community. Or else the reason we came from our country to come here, we will regret it. We will regret it. We are not here to talk about this. We're here to make dua for our brother, which is Sharif Yama. And we ask everyone to remember him in your prayer, to remember him in your dua, to ask Allah to forgive him. He's a youth. As I know, as I'm aware that he doesn't have, he doesn't have a wife, no wife, no kids. That's it. SubhanAllah. Make dua for him, pray for him. If you know anything about him, make sure you don't say anything evil, anything bad about him. Don't say good about him. All the good things that you know about him, say it. That's all what we need to know about him. So please, if he owe you money, see the father before we bury him. Naam. If you want to forgive him, that's your right, that's your choice. Jazakumullah khair wa baraka fikum. For now, we'll take the body to the, uh, the, to the cemetery, inshallah. We will perform the prayer there, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair wa baraka fikum. Yes, sir.
So my text is like, so we're gonna go um, to the um, to the cemetery. To the cemetery and then the house, right? Yes. Nobody's in the car? As you can see, um, the Janaza just got done. Um, the family and um, friends and Gambians in Seattle are here um, at the masjid um, uh, to actually perform Janaza over our brother Silif Jaban who had um, passed away. He died a sudden death um, a couple of days ago as he was sleeping. Um, yeah, we are here. Yeah. Family. 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 Yes, yes. Yes. Nephew. Everybody is good. Welcome to Seattle. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, um, from Nimakora Mahere, Mahi. Yes, mm -hmm. wow, because Mangi left, that's why. Mm -hmm. In Nimbar. Um, Ian Balor, Marek Damadon, you want to take a walk here? Uh, coming over there, we have to leave right now. Jalimadi, let's, let's go, I guess we can get going now. Yes, Jalimadi, let's go, I guess we can get going now. Okay, then we can follow us, okay. Wow. Now it's... We need to get going. Instead of the hanging around, we need to get going. Nakeba. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I keep following you. On it, yes. I don't think you can do it. Alex Masalam. Yeah. 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 Thank you for the guidance and the support and the advice all the time. Inshallah, we appreciate it. Yeah. Jalimadi, uh, well, Ivan is leaving, so let's go ahead. Um, I saw Dembabalde earlier and I was going to talk to him, but 
and maybe when we go to the house. Salaam alaikum, auntie Nogai. Yeah, boy, you know, you're okay. Salaam alaikum, uh huh. Um, Boka, you know, the glue didn't you say that? You know, if you see, um, uh, Juma Bill and Jogini, the BICW, um, Danaza Lendon and P, we pray over Sun Broda before here, Fanny Fase, we, um, Sheriff, uh, Jabang. Ganau binga kami nak mugi cedon di nelayan, ialah jel ruhongi hasil si jaman ini, actually di tu na Julai nengko, memang bi light na nyetimbir, mohon kepako kami nendau la nyetafuki adla amui thirty years, lola imam wah mohon ikamit ne kepako kami am tony nala ngah balal ko aha kepako kami ikamit am amel nala. Nga yeba ne sabo pa soko defe nyuham ne dafla amel lola imam biwa message bobo la jota jala le ne nyata fuki adla am amud jabar amud dom he was very young mashallah he was in marriage he doesn't have any kids he is here with family he was here with family wa ya la defe na mugen na aduna okay of course jali madi mima andal ni was his roommate at some point jali before we leave briefly what can you tell us about your this is friend he was your roommate. Yeah, he, he... All right, so first of all, Kalu inna lillahi wa inna ilihi rajiwan. We all from Allah and to Allah we shall all return. Um, it was definitely a heartbreaking news. You know, when my former roommate and my friend, Abi, whom I knew Serif true, called me no actually i called her and she told me like your boy was found unresponsive and you know we are at the we are at the critical unit so i wasted no time i joined them mm -hmm. so you again, went to the hospital yeah went mm -hmm. to the hospital and then after a few hours he was pronounced dead mm -hmm. you know so of course um it's a very difficult moment mm -hmm. you know we are just friends mm -hmm. we come to become brothers mm -hmm. Um, but of course, I'm sure it's a very, very devastating situation for uh, members of his family mm -hmm. um, and all the friends that knew him longer than I did. Mm -hmm. You know, I knew, I knew sort of through Abi, like I said, we all used to live together in the same room. Mm -hmm. Me and him, we did so many things together. Mm -hmm. But Alhamdulillah, everything that I can say about Sarif is like, this brother is the kindest person. Mm -hmm. And then one of my friends, EB wrote something. We both wrote something, you know, mm -hmm. on our Facebook. But I think his phrase sums it better when he said, you know, Seraf took care of everyone else around him, you know, but himself. Mashallah. And when he said he took care of everybody else around himself, but himself, it's not negative. It's mm -hmm. just positive. That means how selfless mm -hmm. he is. Mm -hmm. You know, we all have issues. We all were, you know, we were young. 2015 was when, 2015, 2014 was mm -hmm. when I met him. You know, we all had had issues, but Seraf will wear that smile on that mm -hmm. hardship. You know, mm -hmm. let me grab my charger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and um, and just make everybody feel better. You know, mm -hmm. that's the only thing I can say about him. I cannot say mm -hmm. when I ever saw Seraf mad, mm -hmm. or Seraf unhappy, or mm -hmm. Seraf physically fighting. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. Seraf always. I saw a video in which you and him were actually doing push-up competition yeah. and the like back yeah. in 2015 when yeah. you both were very young. Yeah. But anyway, it's um, lesson learned. Kuli nafs in Zai Hatul Mato. This is the only day that we are all waiting for. Mm -hmm. I mean, and the Imam has said it. Matter of fact, his message was to the youth. Mm -hmm. His message was to the young people to actually know that, I mean, this dunya is worth nothing mm -hmm. and that it is going to come someday um, mm -hmm. and it is better we are prepared for it. Uh, he was young, 30 years old, mm -hmm. no wife, no kids. I mean, uh, hasn't even started life yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, to just die a sudden death is very painful. We cannot do but um, uh, send our condolences to the family once again mm -hmm. and also um, pray for him. That's what the Imam said. Mm -hmm. um, if he had offended anybody, he, the Imam asked for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You can go, let me grab the charger real quick. The Imam asked for forgiveness mm -hmm. and also had uh, or those he owes some money or something to actually declare it to the family and of course um, tell the family um, uh, how much he owes them so that it can be arranged. 
uh, of course the janaza just got done and he is going to be prayed um, he's going to be buried here in Seattle uh, the Islamic Center of Piggott Sounds which is the other uh, masjid in Linwood actually donated the burial site according to the Imam which is good and ICOPS I mean for those of you following us at Gambian Talent you will see that we publish a video that we did for ICOPS I mean um, uh, about the new masjid that will be opening here tomorrow inshallah I mean um, and we are urging and appealing to all the Gambians in the community to come to that grand opening the Imam talked about us also um, participating in the masjid a lot more I mean if you cannot be a board member he said you can uh, be coming to the masjid to keep it alive if you are not able to you can donate financially and support a uh, sense of community is very important akumaya batale punyu japale wante neka bena suyi hewe singa kode ham the whole community put um, aside all differences and come for nothing for the sake of Allah, for the sake of one person, terulu uh, amsolola nyubolo neka bena dapa amsolo, because uh, regardless of what um, nyunyep dineng de bena bes, and it is very important akumaya batale purunga pay attention to that. I mean, it is important for us to be uh, the same. Um, uh, Inshallah, sun boka inyo deglu dinyo seta andrek. Kom ning koron wache pala mai jali maduka duki nono. Ne imam bi mune nyubalal ko acha kipa ko hamne dafla amel acha. Ne balal ko acha kipa ko hamne dafla amel khalis. Nga declare sa bopach to family bi. Suko defe nyu jigal la nga jigal lem wala nyu fe la lim la amel limo elulu message binak nyu si bari chinda wi la bron wachal nyu bay nan sa ngaragi nyu bay drugs in your use, no one for me, a Kiana Yoham Ninquay, the floor Hamnena Casurut, no Nola, Ne Lujasidia Gaya Gati Gate, Tahut Mudon, um, Alu Bantaya Gati Gate, Walla Garab Tahut Mumusa don't desit, Walla Mumusa Muna don't desit, Kondoru Amsolo La Purnu by Kohel. Am nyonyak ndawi yep pour nyu gena gur gur lorek a pour def lo bah set nakale nyon def pour dia pale swing a de kamu gena am solo a kon jale madi madau si korek jer jaja bi ma bai la mi bi in the meantime nga la patol nyu swing boki so se rek ya kanasor a min kamen kon nun drong insha allah na buri santu de manding ke a min ining na multi engi in the meantime a insha allah ya fu manek mo de drong be me fokal mo Yes, assalamu alaikum. Um, Kalu in Nani Lahu in Nani Leha Rajon. Um, Bumobi Konton Nai Tony Kontola, um, Talal Badima Jalima di Jabate. Um, coming pa Osman Bafuka Yamendrong, Surua Kamoto. Um, Kabonang Masjidol to thank Masjidum Mia Longo Kafo, Imam Mohammed La Masjidum, Everett Molway. Um, Masjidun Yuntonak, Alhamdulillah, na Badima Dingo. Terima angka fenyoma, barima ala jenaza prayer, you know, ngawal buta wala kita kantai sainte. Kami pak Usman ya fenyamin, suruh aku moto, aku imamu la dandar laru kita moneti, aku intel funding ke ulu se sengha kilo tu ngam fansei alala, aku nyen dunia mu Kulete munta labanna. Aku dunia mu kulete munta labanna. Aku undung. Aku munta lo ku drong. Aku nyun dunia afang lo furut aku is delusion. Aku walam kulum mia longku amang sahaya. Aku untel do danding jumbe sila lebelu lembe kuntu. Aku silang alayamaru mu munt berin dalam funding ke ulti. Ngan teo siting ngam fansei alala. Ngah ngam fansein di jamang ulto ngam jamang ubalundi aku katum walang kuti mumbela bana yo so aku dung alhamdulillah besatu mungkin wajang amangke amangke muslim besatu oti amangke muslim besatu oti so wala sabu aku koleyale kuke muslim ayat tungkung dul balundi aku bari ukam menyau nyende saya kata ngam fansa alala, ngadaji kol faling, nganiul kalasan, ngalong kolum desila, belolan telefon ngom kontol. So aku funding kau liak kata bake, liak kata ye ye daji kol dulu bola je. Satu sedia nyau nyandek, dolomeng nying. 
Starting route to 7509 Riverview Road. Heady on 112th Street Southeast. So basically, we look at the Dandar La Road. Come in, pause, man, Bafu Kenyami. Ante dun kita mau tunggu ya lang ko masarif London. Dun binti dah serif lo. Dalam film phone ulah nyaman kala kena. Anak flan yang ombe badi ngulbe Daniela. Ante mau serif dia roll tu baris serif ni mula ulu tadi. Yo serif lo saya sedih minta kanya wanya ni. Ah, ada badi ngul finansi lade. Dan ngul buat aku nak kiri. Kamu lalu badi ngulbe Daniela sama lah. Daniela alamah. Saya untuk itu alam alai ni mana yang kafir kaya, kalau jang sone ni, eh, entah mula fana tu koma, alam anda ni ada jang pola ni, amin allah, saya sunu alam alai amun yang jang sone ni entah fana, amin allah, kalau saya alam akalan teli waladat ini keran naji, amin allah, sekeran je keran keran ni mal, amin allah, mula fana memfang sendi lah alam yang ni, amin allah, ilah bang orang, amin allah. Uh-huh. Walau sabu untuk karanta aku kono le, karanta aku kono le. Mending untuk kai nyinge long event nak life kono bela life. Ngafu aku nganyo hati de, dunia aku manjarala de, al nganyo hati de, al ngabunyo aku kalama de, al ngakari nyotinya, al ngakari nyodera. B Ibu si lebih kumuh folam mula kudo. Fo alai itu minjo bang, fo alai o minjo bang itu malu. Dunia mang jari kule lah yang dunia kau. Alangkah muda nyoy, alangkah sabar nyoy. Nyingam baru ngaji, abah bataring. Alai asyik mau di mal, alangkah mari di mal, alangkah mari sutra. Kau serif kau orang, ada kau mula sutra, ada kau mula di mal. Selalu utai dal. Tengok kerang di rolong, teri mahu teri mahu ni benar life kom. Ni ada orang ke clean nak? Malah faham aku lagi. Wakum maya terbaik ke jadi madi lulu amna solo bubah. This is a lesson learned. You imagine somebody you used to hang out with and seeing your video in which you are trying to do push up competitions with him, and you dined with him, you laugh a joke with him, and you stood over him. The day he passed away, uh, you imagine that that person is no more. I mean, you will only be seeing maybe pictures or videos of him or just remember his name and the memories that you had with him. What did that do to you? Man, I'm still with a heavy heart. You know, I wish, you know, I, you know, I could have had time to pre prepare for this, for this uh, interview. You know, but again, you know, um, we may as well just go on with it, but um, I, I like I wrote on my Facebook um, storyline that I've endured a lot of things in my life, but undoubtedly, um, you know, seeing Brother Sheriff laying down there in his hospital bed is probably one of the hardest things that I had to endure. Not just because I saw a brother that I knew was full of life, was full of you know compassion, was full of energy, laying helpless. But again, I saw myself. I saw myself to my end, you know, because me and Sheriff, we are the same age. Mm -hmm. We're, we, you know, we're all 30, mm -hmm. you know, and if one minute he could be up and running and the next minute he is not there, mm -hmm. what guarantees do I have mm -hmm. that I have the next day? So mm -hmm. the lesson there for me is, you know, when you mourn, you pray for the disease, mm -hmm. but the, the sympathy and the empathy, the sorrow, the loneliness, uh -huh. and then the pain, uh -huh. the agony is about the thought of yourself. Uh -huh. And then that the same spirit uh -huh. 
happen in the masjid as mm -hmm. we were doing the Janaza prayer. The janaza. Mm -hmm. As I was praying for my brother, mm -hmm. and then as we even took the first ruku, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my goodness, like, mm -hmm. you know. So I saw, I saw me mm -hmm. laying there one day and mm -hmm. taking that first ruku. Mm -hmm. So basically, mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it wasn't. It's not. It's not going to be an easy thing. Mm -hmm. you know, death, and one is death. tempted to be in denial for a yeah. while, right? Every bed is painful. Mm -hmm. but, you know, some dates are more painful, especially when the person is super close to you and mm -hmm. you know the person from close. Mm -hmm. So in this case, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. So all I can do, like the Imam said, is to put a sharif in our prayers. Mm -hmm. For him mm -hmm. and to continue to do kind things in his name, mm -hmm. things that Sheriff will do mm -hmm. to laugh around, mm -hmm. make people happy. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how we, you know, mm -hmm. you know, let his. Uh, yeah, it's important, Jalimadi, uh, that we have these conversations occasionally and remind ourselves. Um, Darajaru Kofi, Femang Nengsi. Um, you made some very powerful, um, a very powerful statement there, talking about how we should come together, how we should support each other, how we should uplift each other, how we should not be hating on each other or just talking ill or bad about somebody, especially um, on things that we have very little or no knowledge about. We want to be experts in judging people. We want to be judges and judging people when we don't know people's real struggles and trials and tribulations and things that they have been through. The only thing we see for the most part is usually at surface level. And it is important that we actually learn to know that at no point in time will you be privy to maximum information about a particular situation especially if you are not present when things happen what well, we like to judge we like this thing and i think this is timely uh, because there is so much hatred and talk going on around i mean in our communities everywhere whether it is the local communities whether it is the online community everywhere negative energy being championed and propelled i mean judging each other, living our lives for social media and kabudu kabudu here and there and taking sides. There is so much energy like from one to the other, from one to the other. And it's very important that we understand um, what life is all about. At the end of the day, it's important that we know that we are one people, that one day we are all going to go and destroying somebody or tarnishing somebody's image is never gonna make you any better mm. it doesn't make you achieve anything mm. extra in your life mm. instead it is important that you see how you can make a positive difference in the life of that person mm. and um, it's about uh, 4 p.m. right now, traffic 3 um, p.m. Traffic B is a little um, uh, jam. We have um, a rush hour, kind of. Uh, we are heading to the um, uh, burial ground, the burial site, where Sirif will be laid to rest. Um, and eventually, um, we're going to go to the family house as well. Um, of course, they have something uh, going on there. Um, uh, of course, uh, people will go and share their condolences and uh, greet the family. Uh, once again, like Jalimadi said, he was a roommate to Sheriff and a friend, but Sheriff had family members here. His father was at the masjid, of course. I mean, and also um, uh, Khadi Jabang and, this, um, and the husband. Kadi is the brother who he actually lived with until the time of his demise. So um, a close family to Demba Balde and Aisatu Balde. I mean, great members of our community as well. So we are sending our condolences to everybody. Pase Kujabang from Atlanta was there um, at the masjid. So he's here. 
we heard that his family came from a couple of states some aunties came from a couple of states they are also in town so it's a sad day and like i said earlier this is the one day that or oh, these are uh, moments that actually bring all of us together as a community i've seen a lot of people at the masjid who i haven't seen um uh, in a while or at least i only see during special occasions because everybody is um running around family um here and there work here and there i mean uh, different engagements um, keeping us away from seeing each other as we should uh, normally do. But either chun ame luner wala baner ngente taka um and the like, we will actually get together to celebrate some positive news, or we will actually um, see each other so safan ame. And these are the only two things in life, lila rek. It's either banner or nakhan. It's either good or bad that will happen. And new nyan yala rek na banner hi new gise chi banner the upper you nakhari the yi hanyo. It's indispensable. We cannot avoid it. We cannot run away from it. We cannot be in denial about it. It is going to happen sooner or later. Yal na yi rek le nyuna nyan yala yal na yi. I mean, but it's going to happen. Why new gen di gise ki positivity, new gen di gise ki banner, si happiness and the like. Lolo le nyonya niyala. Kon brother Sheriff, she benen yon yung konya na liyala, yal na koya la hare ajana, yal na yala sedal sushi koam, yal na koya la jigal bakaram, sal kochi mbugali ba mela safara, yal na yala yatal ba mela. Le palo hamne def na ko te ne hud boromam rek, yal na mbuko jigal. Uh, matter them la. that is why we are all human beings um, at the end of the day we all have um, uh, 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 um, to err is human is basically what I want to say to err is human um, uh, pur make mistake pur um, uh, uh, torn pur uh, def wrong doing nyun uh, domi adamai yala lulu la nyu bindi um, te, uh, no one of us is an exception. Um, uh, we try I, as best as possible to be doing good, but um, eventually um, we will uh, all run God. Um, we try as much best as we came to like cotton to make sure that uh, we are doing the right thing to the best of our ability. But dunyaka, dunyaka, that we will uh, run God. So let's try to take mom. Dina nyoko balal. Ligena am solo, ligya limadi wa krek, fala idea luat, mo e shun digente nyuni nen, ntel fangol temo je kumaya patal, because choli choli e fufula, ntel fangol temo, nyuni nen shun digente. Shun digente e ala, I mean, borom yer mandela, chiturami, rahma and rahim, these are his names, these are his attributes. And I know he takes pride in forgiving his 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 his, his servants. If that was in the case, the kon adun fineka nyun nep. Yala do don't jiggle, the conyun nip, I mean, moy road. So, Suyaki and Ayala Muna jiggle, Nyun Tamit, we should be able to forgive each other. I mean, we should be able to forgive each other. But then, then you are by the Tonyante, then you are by the Tonyante to the best of our ability. Kula de Fudara, Kula Wahudara, Kujapanjamuram, while I call Hamne de Fudara, them Fentalco, Morganapon, to them create something about the person, Luponla. Kon Sheriff, yel na koya la irem, yel na koya la hare ajana, yel na yala sedal sushi ko am kumlin ko wakerek. Nyuge sa ko nyan tinyep pur nyan alko, niko imam bi wakerek lo am solo la. Mune lo nyu wakti mom na neka lo ba for the most part. So nit gine aduna mune sufeke nit ham na am na lo ko hamal is recommended pur nga dental ko ko lo bon lo ko hamal nga dental ko nga reserve ko nga wak lo ba li nga hamsi mom. Ia ku beromen long ala ku to ufo, ngabai lupon li ngatege ko bor nganyaka ko wah. The good deeds, the good things you know that he has done are the ones that are recommended for you to say, not the negative things, not the bad things that you know about the person or the things that they did. Because like I said earlier, to err is human. Nyep, then they make mistakes. Nyep, 
Rawatina Swinneke and Daunak. As we grow older, we learn from our mistakes, we learn from the things that we have done um, wrong and try to improve on them. As you grow older, you make a lot of, I mean, kind of, uh, uh, you, you start to select. You decide to, you start to pick your battles, you pick and choose your battles as to uh, what to do and what not to do. And as you grow older, you tend to lean more towards doing positive things uh, and, and start relaxing on a lot of the negative things you did as a young person. And it's important. And it's never too late to repent. It's never too late to change. I mean, um, we've heard stories of uh, people who have done all kind of jalore, ki jahiliya period and eventually joined Islam and they became one of the um, Khalifs or they became one of the great sons and daughters of Islam who we celebrate until this day or who um, God kept um, a space for them in Jannah or people who actually ended up having uh, to be one of the ambassadors of Islam that turned the light there. Um, 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 so many people and helped to convert their stories helped so many people to convert to Islam. So it's never too late. Um, to do good things uh, once you realize it, but the sooner you do it, the better. Um, doing I ustas, but from what we hear, um, ne, okay, advice ne, ne, you dunda sun aduna, uh, come doing musa de, but also um, we should be able to um, uh, 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 remember ne, the family, ne, you dunda tamid bemel ni elek elek nugena aduna. We should live our lives as if we are never going to die, but also um, remember and live as if we will, tomorrow we would not be here again. So this is very important. Like I said, we are going to the cemetery at this point um, to um, uh, uh, pay the last respect to Brother Sharif. The Imam said it. I mean, uh, for those of you who are following at the beginning, that it is important and it is recommended and there is great reward um, to attend Janaza. Um, after the prayer is done at the masjid, it's also recommended to attend the burial. Um, um, there is great uh, barakah, there is great ni'mah, there is great benefit in attending the um, uh, burial as well. I mean, where of course um, another prayer is going to take place and participating in that is very important. So whenever we um, uh, 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 attend that, um, uh, whenever we find ourselves in um, uh, this situation, uh, just like I said, um, it's important we know uh, some of these things. And I think it was very important, Jalimadi, that the Imam broke down the steps of Janaza, the Imam broke down, I mean, some of these things, these benefits. Mm -hmm. uh, these are not things that get talked about every day. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't like to hear about death if there is no death, um, uh, for the most part, but um, it is important. Uh, for uh, it to be talked about and for people to be reminded on the steps. I mean, for example, the first prayer, I mean, recitation of Fatiha, the second surah, rather, I mean, uh, the first surah recitation of Fatiha, the second surah, I mean, um, uh, Salat Allah Nabi, and I mean, you, you pray for the uh, disease, um, the third um, uh, 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 Raka, rather, and then finally, I mean, you do Taslim. Uh, this is very important. Reciting Fatiha, Salatu Allah Nabi. I mean, praying for the deceased, and finally um, uh, doing Taslim. Uh, these are the four records that um, this thing, and it's all done standing up. There is no sitting down when Janaza is being done. And um, the little knowledge I have too, I think with Janaza, you, um, uh, uh, if nobody performs Janaza, everybody has seen from what I've heard uh, before. But if one or few people do it, the burden is off of everybody's shoulders. Um, first, Janaza, that's, 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 that's what I have learned in the past. So having a good number of the community, both men and women coming out to actually do Janaza over Brother Sheriff, actually has uh, taken off the burden or the scene off of a lot of people. So, as you can see, it's at the Snohomish County. I mean, uh, we're entering the city of Snohomish right now. And that is where the um, burial site is. That is where we are going to at this point. I mean, we are very close. Uh, hopefully, um, the rest of the community are there to actually um, uh, um, hand over Brother Sheriff to his Lord, his creator, who will be there soon.
and from there like I said we'll be heading to the family may he rest in peace we are appealing to each and everybody to remember him in our prayers I mean may God forgive him all of his uh, shortcomings and um, anything that he did that was not in the way of his Lord uh, it's a very sad day here in Seattle I mean we saw some of the brothers and some of the family members crying over there. I mean, especially when the body was being um, uh, taken out. And yes, we are close to the cemetery at this point, uh, inshallah. Um, we are asking for everybody's forgiveness. And like the Imam said, we remind everyone again, if you think or if you know that the brother has actually offended you, uh, you can please forgive him if you know. Um, if he has offended you, you can please forgive him. And if you, um, if he owes you money as well, uh, you either declare it to the family and have them pay you, or you can forgive him. Um, wherever you are, uh, if you want to get hold of the family, if you are in Gambia, any other parts of the world, it's not too late. If you think you can, um, if he owes you money and you really want to claim it or you want to forgive him, please contact the family. If you are following us through Gambian Talents, yes, if you um, contact us, uh, we will hopefully try to reach you or, or link you with the family so that you tell them your position. I mean, you don't have to let us know. It's just we will facilitate uh, your connection with the family. Of course, he's Gambian. He was uh, born in Gambia, and um, he might have interacted with people back in the day. So if he has interacted with you and he has offended you, please find it in your heart to forgive him. And if he owes you money as well, try to reach out to the family. Or um, in your heart, you forgive him. You don't have to tell uh, anybody, I believe, sometimes. Uh, you can just forgive the person. So we are here at the, uh, we are entering the cemetery. I mean, at this point, and uh, hopefully um, the rest of the community are here and the body is already here. Uh, since uh, it was in a convoy, everybody just came right here. Everybody just came and drove on their own. It's not like it was a convoy that came or whatever, so. Um, yes, um, people are coming in gradually. Okay. Alhamdulillah, we made it to this cemetery finally. So,
Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. But it's okay, yeah. It was done, yeah. Yeah, yeah. to bury our beloved our beloved one. We are here to bury our friend. We are here to bury someone who used to be who was part of us. That we are here, we are loved. Today we're going to bury him here. You can look at the hole. This is where whether it's here or is Gambia or is anywhere in the Middle East or in the Asia we're going to be end one day and this is end of ad admonition wallahi there is nothing that there's no other lecture admonition that more than this 
you and I, if someone tell you to just lay down here, you will not do it. Wallahi, you will not do it. You will refuse it. Except they abuse you and force you to lay down there. But what else? You're not going to do it. After you finish here, everyone's going to wash their hands and remove all the dirt from themselves. Naam. And this is where we're going to put you. Naam. That's why Uthman ibn Attar radiallahu anhu, as they mentioned, whenever they remind about Akhirah, he usually would feel sad about it. But what would make him more <coughs> grieve and cry more is when he stand at the grave. Because he said this is the first house of Akhirah. The day you die, your Akhirah has started. The day you die, your Akhirah started. Naam, the brothers, especially the youth, my friends, come and look at the home. Your friend, we're going to be buried in here today. Your friend that you used to hang around with. Let's change our life. Let's change our life. Let's return back to our Lord. Let's return back to the reality that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us, created us for. Let's not deceive ourselves. All this enjoyment that we are enjoying day and night, we're going to leave it behind us. What will help you here is your salah, your prayer, your fasting, your tawheed, man, your hajj, the way we treat each other, the good reward. That's what is going to be helping us here. Ma'am, the driver is here. We can, inshallah, bring the disease to That's what is going to help us here. The prophet, the first time that we need to bring the disease to the Lord, he started to be a good idea. He tells us that when And I want the youth, I want the youth to come. Now we want the youth to come and help out. The youth is going to come and help out.
Abdulaziz, 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 Get two more here. Two more up. Okay. Two more. Two more here. Okay, my child. No, that's it. That's it, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Does it hold it now? Yes, hold it. Now. You just lose the, just untie you them. Have one down there? Untie yeah. them. Okay. Just leave it there. You can just untie okay. it by leaving. You know what? Take this. Let's let's give this to the driver. Okay. Guys, one, two, three, four. That's really maximum around it. Let's uh, let's let's let the, the the youth help us to bring this stuff to Come here. Come, come here. So before you guys start so clean the lid, it's not for the box. Okay. Yeah. Good. 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 It's okay. 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 Put up. Put up. Put up. Adam, yeah. you want me to come in? No. Yeah. Okay. We need one more. One more. Well, Adam, let, let me help you. Let yeah. me do one. One more. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Because it's heavy. Watch out for your fingers, please. <laughs> Thank 
But if it's not the day he will, uh, the, if, he, if it's not uh, the, the, the person who passed away, it's not from there the gate of fire, Jahannam will open for him. He will say something which is more deeper than that. And this what we believe. And there's so much evidence that indicates for that. That's why we need to, we make dua for him when we finish burying him. So that Allah can keep the tongue steadfast. When the angels come and ask him those three questions. The first one, who is your Lord? Did you did you recognize Allah? Did you admit that Allah is your Lord? Did you accept his command? And you stay away from things that you forbid. Did you worship Allah? Naam. Did you believe in Allah? You might claim that you are a Muslim. You believe in Allah but in your reality, in your heart is done. You just do that out of hypocrisy so that you can have your way in the community. But in the reality you are not. The Allah knows that. And you will not be able to answer that question which is more of the your Lord. Who is your Lord? It's more deeper than the way we just think the translation. It's more deeper than that. You have to know your Lord. The oneness of Allah. You have to know the Lordship of Allah. You have to know Allah in His name and attributes. And the second question would be, what is your religion? What is your religion? You claim any other religion besides Islam that Allah subhanahu that is accepted with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If the answer is Islam is your religion, you pray your part in his prayer. You pass a month of Ramadan, you give zakat, you go to Hajj, you believe the Quran, you believe the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you will be able to answer that question. Naam. But if you are not, you will not be able to answer those questions. And if you are someone who does not pray, someone who does not pray, so the youth, there's many people in our community who doesn't pray. Remember this day, your friend is here. Remember this day, return. When you go home, return back to Allah. Make wudu and repent and return to Allah. Remember day like this. This is his akhirah. He's here after started today. He's here after it started today. The day you die, your akhirah starts. That's why they call it Hayatul Barzakhiya. Naam. Because you are between the dunya and akhirah. Naam. And the third question will come, who is your prophet? Who is that man that which was sent to you? These are the three questions the angel will ask him. And if you live your whole life in these three questions, inshallah you will be able to answer them in your dream. But if you do not live your whole life around these three questions, you will not be able to answer those questions. Naam. You will not be able to uh, uh, memorize them from me. Ma rabbuk, ma dinuk, ma nabiyuk. When you answer them, they will expand this grace. It will be expand for him. And he will be able to see in Jannah. They will open the doors of Jannah. We believe this. The smells of Jannah will come to him in his grave. Naam. 
and a man will come to him with a beautiful and nice clothes. He will say to you, who are you? That is going to happen with him. I will believe that. Yes, we believe it. A man will come to him. He will say to you, who are you? He said that I am your righteous deed. Ana amaluka salih. I am your righteous deed. With a nice mouth. He will say to the man, your face comes with good. Your face comes with glad tidings. He said, yes, I am your salah. I am your prayer. I am your hajj. I am your birrul walidain. When you used to treat your parents well. When you treat your parents well, Allah pleased with you. But if you disrespect your parents, as most of our youth does today, you come here, Allah is not going to please with you. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi say, Allah please is connect with your please with your parents. Respect your parents. Naam. His grave would be open for him. And he will see Jannah will start smelling. But if it's over other way around, they will squeeze him until his ribs go into each other. And then they will open the doors of hell. He will start receiving his punishment. And he will say to Allah, never establish the day of hour because he doesn't want to. The literally is have is enough for him. Now, brothers and brothers, let's remember this day. Our beloved brother, someone we love, someone with us in our community, we put him in the ground, in this cold ground here. We all going to go and leave him here. No one is gonna stay here with him. Except your good deed. Why don't you learn from that? Where are the youth? Your good deed. Why don't you learn from that? Your good deed is the only thing that's gonna help you here. Why don't you pray? Why don't you pray? Why don't you respect your parents? Why don't you come to the masjid and pray? Why don't you fast? Why don't you worship Allah? That is what is gonna help you do. It's not your house, it's not your job, it's not your car. It's not any of those bars that you go to or any of those alcohol you drink to. None of that. Only your righteous deed will help you here. This is what we believe as a Muslim. Now, so from here, because Maghrib is coming soon, let's make dua. Everyone make dua for him. Make the best of your dua for him. And ask Allah to keep his tongue strong. Stay fast so that when the angel comes, when they ask him, you'll be able to answer those questions. Please make dua for your brother. Make dua for your, uh, your brother. Make the best of your dua for your brother. Na'am wa akhir da'wana alhamdulillah ya Rasul Allah. Make dua for your brother.
give you my yeah. business card uh-huh. and you can give me your number too yeah yeah miss a card right i'm almost my cards not why yes my mogus the moro ham on tay what's up mhm unema actually i think that of course of course living sir unema ni the mogus the modern set i think the gambia talent promotion nyoko don live yes so yeah mangi you know container for full of medical equipment they're going to to take it to the hospital okay to the hospitals mm-hmm. so why balam non lo mugis lo mo nemi haral ndax mo mala ndax mo jox ko ko mo jox ko aha i guess the guy needed that's, some diapers and yeah, stuff like that yeah, so that's that's right yeah mm-hmm. so Manko wa mu reach out to you guys mm-hmm. here to, to your uh, mm-hmm. to your guys in the Gambia in the Gambia yeah to reach out to them mm-hmm. and then go uh, man on be mayor berek and I will um give it to my guys tomorrow they will reach out to her um ñun lolo ñu fi taxane karek so sa mu ngi wara sma i guess the sma somebody somebody just now that you are saying this it's important that um somebody just reach out to me from Germany this morning uh the mawah lolo mom tamit broda mané ka bo ko ko tambi is almost um dying and needs a lot of help uh pull this numbers out of this what's up mm-hmm. are you full numbers you yeah. want you want a number small number of never lost sanambe mervia yeah. uh-huh. mom is right here mom yeah. gambia yes so go here no actually you got to go to the messages now wait yes yeah it is now uh share yeah. Um, yeah, so I not today but uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Us we, I need to call you to. I was like, no. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure by now for you're Osman, you know? you No, no, not yet. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on the. No, I'm, I'm, right I'm another two years yeah. to be here before yeah. I leave. Yeah. Okay. So, give me a number, Mary. Give me a call. Then I go contact. Yeah. They give you a call, man. Like, learn my cell number. So, give me a call. Give me my cell number. No, no, man, man, get safe number. Give me my cell number. Okay, four zero four. It's all over the place. Anyway. I know. I. It's right in there, right? Yeah, yeah it's right here. Okay, sounds mm -hmm. good. But yeah, just call me, like, let me in yeah. in your phone for your da, 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 another contact. <laughs> yeah, small contact list is right here. Okay. Uh, I, I just started using Androids, so I'm not uh -huh. used to it. So. <laughs> uh, it's okay. <laughs> but Usman. Uh, Lee is very nice. We have to do this collectively. Yeah. Man, every single Mankowa, day. Mankowa, Mankowa, uh -huh. reach out to you guys because mm -hmm. there's a there's. A, a, I'll talk to you about it. Yes, so, Dinala, 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 yeah. living definitely contact me. Yeah, ma, ma living there because mm -hmm. Mankowa more contacts and TV living me because mm -hmm. Nyom Nyungi MFO for a fashion, mm -hmm. some fashion organi non-profit organization for these fashion mm -hmm. designers mm -hmm. because some are So mm -hmm. they the Nyungi Jema encourage. The youths to get into fashion designing at your so new and temporary. Man, I learned how many called because container of bagas lion. Man, I can contact the TV station and then get Jamal. We'll see you tomorrow. Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, pause. Yeah. Mind you've got me in talents. I just right, entered cool. it. Let's see. See if go here. Yeah. All right. Uh, Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, well, no. I got it. Thank you very much, boy. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Again, Balal Nufu Forek. He gave me more lunch. Come to Mokodon We are always contacted by different people, uh, part of Linyodef, uh, Askan Villa, to provide you with information uh, that you can use to actually make informed decisions. Um, everybody is gone. Everyone is gone. It touches my heart. It's freezing cold here right now. We've been here for almost an hour or at least 45 minutes. Uh, it's freezing cold. As he said, in the photograph, the been by me. For our Tinasun brother, been to buy me. It's freezing cold, but um, it's lesson learned. Alhamdulillah, happy to have been. Come, Ningen to be said. Beginak, the brother is late to rest. Ning Korea has all of Rex Sutural Ning Kosi Yamanaki. So, them key family home be the other family be Mochi des Yamanaki. Hopefully, um, Nyon Nifinon. For Sutral Brother, I keep a quick topa, he said, and Nyep will learn something from this. Um, my lord, you get Santa Aladal, Uva, um, Colina Sins, I had to go, Imam Bio Herek. This is a day that we are all waiting for. The message to the youth, uh, young people that are born here, we know a lot of you guys follow us. Um, young people whose parents brought them here um, uh, we know a lot of you guys follow us uh, anywhere from teenagers all the way to the early 30s or less than 40 years old uh, the message today is mostly for the youth we need to understand respect our parents as Imam said we need to work on a lot of uh, things try to do good things uh, before it is too late this is Imam's message uh, sometimes the throat hurts, but we gotta take it. I mean, as it is, yeah, most of what, almost what he said, are not his words, but the words of God. So we'll end it here for now. Um, hopefully, when we get to the family house, if there is any preaching or if there is any dawah that will be given or anything happening there, we can actually um, showcase that as well. But for now, we are going to end this here. Thank you all for your prayers. I mean. Um, uh, we need to pray for the brother and we need to pray for each other and we need to try to have a good heart for each other we need to respect each other we need to love each other and we need to try to do the right thing Jali, any final message? Um, 
right now actually I'm trying to figure out where to go. stuff right yeah. helping to put to dig the grave and uh, give the brother I mean his hand over the brother to his lord yeah. and we are saying bye bye and leaving him behind everybody else wash off their hands like Imam said and just leaving him behind it's tough right Not in a position to say anything else is fine. Yeah. I mean, we can just end it here, mm -hmm. I guess. Well, um, thank you all of all you who were watching and following us on Gambian Talents. At some point, you will see that we had the screen black and uh, blackout uh, simply because we had to respect the privacy of the deaf and the brother, and will not show you any uh, thing like that, any of um, uh, what was happening. Uh, it was intentional uh, simply because we had to respect the brother's privacy and not actually uh, show you more of that uh, uh, for you that is asking I mean, she say, Lamsi, she say that is asking who is he uh, his brother Sheriff Jabang um, uh, one of the Gambian brothers a 30 year old who uh, was living with us here in Seattle Washington he passed away a couple of days ago he died a uh, sudden death in his bed and uh, as a result um, burial was taking place today a young man uh, did not leave a wife did not leave a kid I mean no anything besides his parents and his siblings and extended family um, that is who was being laid to rest here in um, um, at the cemetery and um, of course uh, we are all uh, dispersing now to actually head out to the family house. Uh, this is what happened here. May Allah accept um, all his good deeds. May Allah forgive him his sins. May Allah open the doors of Jannah for him. Uh, may Allah um, reward him. Uh, may the, he finds it ease um, uh, at the end of the day kon lolo rek mbokay ñu ko ñaanal yalla liñ ko ñaanalon rek ni ko imam bi waxe ni lolo rek la fi am euh dara lum doon def euh ci aduna du ko jappalé lu dud lu bax lim doon def ci message yi imam bi li ngeen joxe dig mo wax né yu bax yim def rek moko jappalé ci jamono ji ak ñaan yi nga xamné dina ko ko ñaanal inshallah pour yalla jappalé ko kon yalla nako yalla yéréem yalla na yalla sédal suuf ci kom yalla nako yalla jégal bakaram yalla nako yalla musal ci mbugal ba melak safara yalna ya la yatal ba melam yalna ko ya la hare ajana inshallah ñu nekkon fi nak ci Everett ak Snohomish County fi ci Washington suñu brother sheriff mom lañ doon djebal borom mom diko sutural def nañ ko ni kon ñu ngi leena gërem di leen santa yeen di ci seen deglu ak setan bu rafet bepenen jamono jëriñ ngeen jëf